Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nafula. If you've not subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend that you subscribe. But if you've already subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching my videos. Hello and welcome. So today we'll be reviewing the photo tool. This photo tool is approved by the United States Department of State to be used, you know, to edit pictures so that they can be um, the size recommended by the DV lottery. So the picture we're going to be editing today is this one. This picture, the applicant won because I edited using a Windows computer, but then today I'll just show you how to edit if you wanted to use a photo tool. If you don't have Windows or you're not very good with computers, then you can use a photo tool. So today I'm going to be showing you how to edit this image using a photo tool. But first, let's begin by finding the photo tool. So you're going to head onto Google and you're going to type photo tool. And then there's a bunch of them, but then you need to pay attention to the one by the Department of State. And usually it says state.gov. So it ends with the .gov to show that, you know, it's from the Department of State. It's genuine. GOV usually is government, you know, it deals with immigration stuff. Uh, so it's legit website. So you're going to click on the photo tool. So when you come on the photo tool, this photo tool, you can learn a lot. Like if you want to, you know, just review your photo requirements and examples, like you can see this picture is acceptable. This one, this one, this one. So for the size and position, it shows you like, you know, this is the shirt, you know, the position needs to be like this. Don't do this because the head is too big. This one is on the side. This one is too far. And then facial expression, you see this one, she's, this one is, you know, trying to laugh. That's not allowed. It needs to be neutral. No glasses. Um, glasses are not allowed in any of the pictures. Uh, don't wear hats. Hijabs are allowed. You can look at the shadows. If it's overexposed, it's not good. Shadows, not good. The background needs to be white or off-white. You can look at the resolution uh, with children. You can look at example of uh, pictures for kids uh, and then don't obstruct your face with anything. So if you have a job, it's fine, but then don't put anything that obstructs the face like your hair, like this cough right here uh, or a pacifier. Make sure like, you know, unless you're wearing a hijab where this part is covered, then do not put anything on your head. So. When you come to the photo requirements here, also you can see a lot of things like the size two by two. And remember I talked about like, if you need to adjust it to 600 by 600 pixels, it need to be two by two. Uh, the picture needs to have been taken within six months in color, no filters, no selfies, white background, no shadows and all that. So today we'll be doing just editing using a photo tool and it's pretty easy. To crop a photo is very easy. So this uh, tool pretty much just crops the picture. It doesn't do anything else. Like it's just, it's not like when you use windows and you can adjust like whatever. Um, this one, you just use it to crop the picture to the required size. So you just go to choose photo and then you're going to select that. And then you're going to say open and then it crops it for you. So if I wanted to keep this image, I will just accept and proceed and then I will go ahead and download it and I'll save it to whatever my downloads are. But then alternatively, if you want to crop manually, then you pick the same picture and then you say you want to crop it manually like that. And then you close the tutorial because this is a tutorial. So you, it shows you how you're supposed to crop it manually. So you're going to close it. If you want to get your image, you have to close the tutorial and then your image shows up and then now you're going to crop it manually. If you had a big space here and you wanted to get rid of it for us, like we don't have too much space here. So we don't need to worry about like the distance from here to here. But if you had like a big distance, a large distance here, what you can do, you can just click the plus and it brings the picture closer to you. So that way you can like, you know, get rid of the space, but then ours is okay. And then if you had like a smaller space, then you can move it a little bit backwards. But then ours, we don't need to do anything with that. 
we just need to crop it so you're gonna put this eye right here and then you're gonna put that eye right there and then it crops it and then you can accept and proceed and then download image again and the image will be saved on your downloads so let's go back and look at the image so let's look at the let me take the downloads out first so I've taken the downloads out so this is one that we downloaded you know we cropped using the uh, the automatic uh, crop and then this one we use the manual crop because it says you know the one so this is the second image we did so let's let's look at the original image you can know you notice like all these images are jpg jpg so jpeg um so we can click our original image let's look at the properties so it's a jpeg image but then it's 900 and 990 kbs so for the dv lottery it needs to be less than 240 kbs and it needs to be 600 by 600 pixels now we have 18 80 and 28 16 so this does not meet requirements so let's see the image that we just used the photo editor to crop let's look at the first image so this is the image so you see is again a JPEG image is 106 KBs which is less than 240 KBs and is the size is 600 by 600 pixels and the image is 300 pixels per inch so this one meets the requirements so we took a picture I'll pull it up we took this picture that did not meet requirements and then we stuck it in our photo tool and then we were able to get this this does not meet requirements this meets requirements let's see the one that we use the manual crop which is this one let me X out of that so let's look at the properties for this one Again, 106 KBs, 600 by 600 pixels, and 300 pixels per inch, which meets requirements and is a JPEG image. So what I'm trying to say is, whether you use a manual crop or you use, um, you use a manual crop or you use just the auto crop, you still get the same result. Like you see this image and this image so this image and this image looks pretty much the same I like this image better the one that I use manual crop this I used the outer crop and this I use the manual crop I like this image better they you will think like they're similar but they're a little bit different um, this I don't know it's a little brighter maybe let me put it this way see if it makes a difference still this one looks a little brighter so um, I will use this but then this and this meet requirements this one does not meet requirements so we use the photo tool to change this into this and that let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching